Hey there, second grade, and thank you for joining me, Miss Palacios, for our weekly reading lesson. This reading lesson is actually going to be a review, which means we're gonna look at something that we already know. But I wanna make sure that we feel comfortable and confident using this strategy to rock it out. The strategy that we're going to be looking at today is gist. We are going to be looking at gist. We're going to go over what is it, why is it important, and why do I need to do it, Miss Palacios. So stay tuned so that we can talk more about it in three, two, one. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Time to get to grow in that brain. First thing we're gonna learn about is what is a gist? Miss Palacios, that's such a silly, weird, and short word. What is gist? Let me tell you what gist is. Gist is a strategy we use to help us read like master readers. I don't know about you, but I wanna read like a master reader because I know that readers are better thinkers. So using gist is just a simple strategy that can help us as we read. Ha! Now the second thing that we're going to learn about is how. How do we gist, Miss Palacios? I know what a gist is. We talked about it being a strategy that we use. A strategy is something that can help us gist is a strategy that can help us read. Now I need to know how to gist. I'll tell you how to gist. So how do I gist, Miss Palacios? It's simple, really. And don't worry, we'll get some practice in just a second too. So you gist by make you make comments and notes next to paragraphs to help you. You might be like, well, why do I need help if I already read it? Let me tell you how gist can help you. So here are three different ways that gisting can actually help you. It can help you identify the main topic. What did you just read about? That's what we want to know when we're reading together. It can help you identify the main topic. It can also help you find key words and key details. Because sometimes when we read second grade, Sometimes we overlook things that are in the text. Like when an author repeats things, it's probably important and it's probably a key detail. So when we circle, underline, annotate, and gist, we know that we are not gonna miss a thing. So that's super important. Another way that it helps us is it also helps us link the info that the author is telling us to the pictures that are provided. So if there's a picture, I'm sure there's actually a sentence that goes along with it. All of these things come together to help form the strategy of gisting. Once I identify the main topic, the keywords, and the important info and pictures, I can write my gist. All right, second grade, now that you know what a gist is, let's practice. Here we go. All you're gonna need is a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper. Go grab those things and I'll meet you back here in just a second. See you soon, go grab those things and come right back, okay? I'll be here waiting. All right, second grade, so we are gonna be reading an article today called Angel Falls. What's my title? Angel Falls, perfect. Let's get ready to read. Let's scoot in those chairs, sit up, nice tall backs, and here we go. Follow along with me, please. Did you know that the highest waterfall in the world is located in Venezuela? Its name is Angel Falls. The water from this waterfall drops 3,212 feet before it hits the ground. In fact, it's around 20 times as high as the Niagara Falls. Even though Angel Falls is enormous, 
It was not discovered until the 1930s. An American named James Angel accidentally landed his plane close to the falls in 1937. Because he discovered the waterfall, it is now named after him. All right, second grade, pause. Now it's time to practice gist. You know that when we're gisting, we are marking up our paper. So I know you don't have the words in front of you, that's okay. Miss Palacios is going to annotate and then she'll tell you when you need your paper and your pencil, okay? So first I do it and then I'll let you know when it's your turn. So I know that the title of my story is Angel Falls. So if that's my title, that's super important because that's gonna help me know what I'm learning about. And I see that it's repeated here and I see that it's repeated here. And I know that this man discovered it, James Angel. I'm gonna circle his name. And so I know that that's a super important part of my story. Something else, ooh, I know that it's important. Where, where is this? I see right here, located in Venezuela. I know that that is part of Latin America because we are learning about Latin American history and Hispanic Heritage Month. And I'm looking and scanning. I see that it's as high as the Niagara Falls. Now, what I've done is I annotated my paragraph. Now, this is important because it helps me know what our main topic is, and that's gonna help me gist. Now it's your turn. So you see, I don't have a lot of space around, but you have a whole piece of paper. So I want you to write on your own piece of paper in just one second. All right, second grade, so what I've done is I have annotated, I've circled and underlined some important things, key details, like I know my title is repeated, angel falls, angel falls, anytime I saw that, I underlined it. Now I know, second grade, I know you don't have the text in front of you, but you can see Ms. Palacios' screen. And what I want you to do now is I want you to gist with me. I'm gonna write my own gist over here in the corner. And then on your piece of paper, you're gonna write your gist in your own words. So we don't need to be copying Miss Palacios because I know you can do this on your own. I'll do my example, and then you will have time to do your own. Alrighty, friends. So I read this and I know that this is the tallest waterfall in the world. So I think my gist or my summary would be the tallest waterfall in the world is called Angel Falls. So second grade, I just did my gist and it basically tells me everything I read in this paragraph. But when you put it in your own words, it helps me know that you understood what you just read. So now it's your turn to write on your own piece of paper your gist of this paragraph. Only looking at this paragraph, you are gonna have time to write your own gist. I'll give you two minutes now. Go ahead and write your own gist. What was this paragraph about?
All right, second grade, thank you for joining me. I can't wait to see what your gist paragraphs look like. Now we're gonna practice again with this second paragraph as we finish out our story. Let's keep on reading, scoot in those chairs and focusing up, reading along with me. Angel Falls is located in a jungle and is surrounded by tropical rainforests. This makes it difficult for people to visit the waterfall. People often try to reach the falls by taking boats down the river. Taking the river route always, oh, sorry, taking the river route allows people to reach the bottom of Angel Falls. The best view is not from the base, however. It is from up above. A plane or helicopter might be the best option for people who want to enjoy a beautiful view of the waterfall. All right, pause. So now I'm gonna ask myself, what did I just read about? What did I just read about? Hmm, let's go back and let's find out. I see Angel Falls, our title again. I see that it's in a jungle with rainforests. I see, and again, I'm just scanning the text here. People like to reach the falls by going down boats on the river. People also, ooh, I'm gonna circle every time I see the title. Ooh, the best view they say is from above, like in a plane or a helicopter. And that gives us an awesome view of the waterfall. So now that I've annotated on my end, I want to write a gist again. I wanna make sure that I don't forget what I just read about. So I'm gonna put a little arrow over here so I can write my own gist. And you'll have a chance to do this too. Okay, so what I just read about, and I'm gonna go back and look at the things I underlined and circled, like Angel Falls, I know it's in a jungle and the people like to take the river to get there and some people think it's even prettier from the sky. So I'm gonna write my own words. I'm gonna write my gist about what I think this paragraph is about. After I write, you'll have your turn. Hmm, let's see. This paragraph is about the waterfall. is in a jungle and is hard to reach. Some people take boats, others like to take planes. So that's the gist or the summary of what I just read about. Now that I've put it in my own words, I know that I understand what I read about. Now I'm gonna give you two minutes again to write in your own words, your own gist. Write what this paragraph was about. I'll give you two minutes to answer. What was this paragraph about in your own words? Get ready, go.
So second grade, you just did your own gist. I am so proud of you and now it's going to pay off. Here are some questions I have in front of us and it's going to be so much easier because you were awesome master readers and you just did as you went. You summarized your paragraphs as you went. So these questions are going to be easy peasy, but let's work them out together. And then you'll have a few on your own. So question number one says, the highest waterfall in the world is Angel Falls. Where is it located? So I know Angel Falls is the title and they want to know where is it located? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in my text and I'm going to find where is Angel Falls. Now, instead of having to read this whole paragraph again, I'm just gonna look at my gist. Hmm, tallest waterfall in the world, Angel Falls in Venezuela. That's all I have to do. Because I wrote my gist, my answer is so much easier. And I'm gonna go back and see if that's an answer, answer choice. Where is it located? I see Chile, that's not where it's located. Brazil, mm, I didn't get that. Venezuela, that's where we said it was in the text. That's where I have it in my gist. I'm going to circle C. And I can go back in my answer and put question one because that's my text evidence. Oh yeah. So question number two, what does the text describe? What does the text describe? Hmm. Let's look at our answer choices before we go back at, and look at the text. So it says, A, the tropical forest surrounding Angel Falls. B, the views near Angel Falls. C, the life of James Angel. Hmm. I don't remember learning about the life of James Angel. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross that out using one of my strategies. But let's go back and see if it's about the tropical forests or about the views. Hmm, I'm gonna go back and read my gist. Instead of having to read the whole thing again, I can just look at what I wrote. Hmm, tallest waterfall in the world is called Angel Falls. And the waterfall is in a jungle. It's hard to reach. Some people take boats, other people take planes. Hmm, I'm looking and I see some underlying things like rainforests, like views, the best view. I see, hmm, I think I have my answer second grade. This one's a little bit trickier than the first one, but I think we got it. Let's go back and look at our question. What does the text describe? The tropical rainforest surrounding Angel Falls or the views near Angel Falls? Hmm. When I looked at my text, I saw the word view so many times, so I'm gonna go with B. And I can show you with text evidence. I see the best view, and I see that people are talking about how it looks from above. I'm gonna put question two, and that's my text evidence. All right, friends, thank you for practicing with Ms. Palacios, and get ready for your own questions. Here we go. Alrighty, second grade, thank you so much for reading that with me. I hope you had fun learning about those beautiful waterfalls. I'll see if I can put some pictures in here so you can see how gorgeous they really are. But now it's your turn. So you know that piece of paper and that pen or pencil that you were using? Yes, those gists that you wrote. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna type them in our Google Form Exit Ticket. You're gonna take those gists that you wrote in your own words, and you're gonna type them into our Google Form exit ticket. I hope you had fun growing your brain and learning about gist. Now, as a reward, let's all do the bubblegum cheer. All right, take out a piece of bubblegum, unwrap it, put it in your mouth. Pop! Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Can't wait to see those exit tickets. Bye!